Was anyone going to tell me where the demons described in my textbooks were? Where were the ruthless, bloodthirsty maniacs I'd learned about? Ah ha ha, come over here, Bow Wow. The heartwarming scene made my chest hurt. I wanted to throw up. Miss Champion? No, don't laugh. You're all evil. Your smiles are all lies. This is a trap, a huge trap. No matter how kind you are, this is just a, a lie. Princess. Before I realized it, I'd suddenly stood up, unable to stand the suffocating atmosphere any longer. The room suddenly fell silent, all eyes on me. Everyone was probably wondering what the matter was. I knew I had to say something, but I could barely move my tongue. Uh... Princess! I had to get out. Ignoring Lizette, I turned away and ran. Huh. Huh. I felt sick. I wanted to throw up. My head pounded, as if splitting in half. The world around me melted, growing more and more warped and distorted. The trees, the soil, the air, everything felt so fake. Even my breathing felt unreal. Ugh. I crouched down under a tree, still feeling sick. I trembled violently, even though the air was far from cold. Something I shouldn't have thought about entered my mind. I couldn't think about it. I absolutely couldn't think about it. I thought about how... Princess... Ah, Lizette. He'd run after me, worried. I quickly grasped his hand and sought refuge in his eyes. Tell me, I'm... Heterodoxism isn't wrong, right? The demons are all... evil, aren't they? I'm begging you, Lizette. You're always right. So if you just say so, then surely... Lizette's expression was painful. He remained silent, biting his lower lip as he gazed down at my trembling hands. I tightened my grip, desperate for an answer. After what felt like an eternity, he slowly looked up and said, If you want an answer, then I'll give you one. I'm unsure if the demons really are a race of absolute evil. We can't be sure yet, of course, but... I think we should investigate further and find out the truth. Wait. Do you have any idea what you just said? What all of that means? I've been killing demons my whole life, if we admit that. And that's exactly why we have to. What? We can't run away anymore. We can't turn away from the truth. There's no justice in that, just self-satisfaction. But admitting it is basically treason. Princess, what's more important to you? Religious justice or the justice in our hearts? That's... I can't kill those children. Not anymore. Would you execute me for it? For being a traitor? No, I couldn't. That's why we have to do it, Princess. We need to find out what the demons are really like. And if heterodoxism turns out to be wrong, then it's a champion's duty to tell the world the truth. A champion's? Yes. It's because you're a champion, Princess. If you make a mistake, you have to set things straight. Admitting that you might be wrong is scary, isn't it? I've killed a lot of demons, too. Even if I acknowledge my sin, it won't change the past. You're strong, you know. Not everyone can accept that. 
Haha, <laughs> it's thanks to you, princess. To me? Yes. I've always been looking at you, the princess who looks straight ahead and follows her own justice. I wanted to be by her side, to serve as her knight. Lizette. Can you stand, princess? Huh? Of course. Who do you think I am? I'm the 25th champion, Christina Ranzad. I will stand up and fight. No matter what happens, I will never lose my own sense of justice. Come on, Lizette. We still need to thank the villagers for the banquet. Yes. What was right? What was wrong? I'm certain there's no one alive who could tell us for sure. It was probably one of the most difficult questions in the world, and one that would haunt us forever. If so, then I would give up looking for an answer, and instead search for my own reason, one I could accept. And as we looked towards the setting sun, Lizette and I stepped forth. 